Smeagol the Seagull, a true story by Mark Seth Lender and illustrated by Valerie Elaine Pettis. On the inside cover, it reads Valerie Elaine Pettis and Mark Seth Lender. And then you see some seagull feet prints and it reads to Simone and the Bethlehem Children's School. Happy Holidays, Roland. For wild animals, wild places, and children everywhere. Smeagol the Seagull, a true story. There's a house near a seawall facing the shore, and that house has a porch with a sliding glass door. And the people who live there, Valerie and me, stand by that door and look toward the sea. Because Smeagol the seagull knows that we know he comes in the rain, he comes in the snow, he comes in the summer, I'm telling the truth. He comes when icicles hang from the roof. He comes in the spring. He comes in the fall. He comes when it's cloudy and there's no sun at all. Yes, every day at a quarter past four, Smeagol the seagull knocks on the door. He knocks when he's hungry. He's hard to ignore. It's Smeagol the seagull asking for more. Again in the morning at ten past six, Smeagol comes knocking. It's loud as a stick when he knocks with his beak on the sliding glass door. It's Smeagol the seagull asking for more. Wherever you live, seagull is heard. It's spoken by Smeagol and millions of birds. I can say I'm tired and I'm going to bed. I can say I'm hungry and I want to be fed. I can say I'm angry, angry and mad. I can say please. I can say I'm so sad. Some people think they're smarter than birds, but can they speak seagull? Not one single word. I was talking and talking. I was all out of breath. So I started knocking. Knocking works best. My people know when I knock on the door. It's Smeagol the Seagull and I'm here for more. I only eat fish from the starfish store. I am a star named Smeagol and I'm ready for more. Smeagol the seagull walks down the beach. He lands on the seawall. He flies out of reach. All of the children all over town say, There goes Smeagol. Smeagol's around. All that walking and flying keeps Smeagol fit. But it does make him hungry and he eats quite a bit. So we bought a new freezer with a really big shelf full of fish for Smeagol. It's all for himself. It stands in the kitchen from ceiling to floor. We thought we'd be ready when Smeagol said more. S-M-E-A-G-U-L-L -L. Shopping list. Sardines. Smelts. Oysters, mussels, mackerel, local only, treats, fried clams. Then Valerie cried, where's Smeagol's fish? The shelf is empty. There's no food in his dish. Starfish will be closing in a minute or two. I said, start the pickup. Down the driveway we flew. Captain Mike had the keys. He was locking the store. He was fresh out of fish, but he said, I'll get more. 
So he climbed aboard his boat, the Colette, named after his wife, who keeps starfish as pets. Don't worry, he said. We're not finished yet. I'll head out to sea and see what I can get. The engine roared and he was soon out of sight. If we have to, we called, we'll wait here all night. Captain Mike returned with a net full of smelts. They're fish, he said. They're good for your health. And he gave us enough to fill Smeagol's shelf. We drove home in the pickup with our fish neatly wrapped. Smeagol didn't greet us. Was he taking a nap? All we could do was shake our heads. We have to find Smeagol, was all that we said. All of the children, all over town, helped look for Smeagol. They looked up, they looked down. They looked in the trees, they looked on the ground. But Smeagol the seagull was not to be found. We were tired and hungry, but we couldn't eat. We turned off the lights, but we couldn't sleep. It was cold and windy, and day after day, we waited for Smeagol, but he'd gone away. The sea cannot hear you. The sky cannot speak. Life without Smeagol is lonely and bleak. But what is that sound I hear at the door? That knock. It's familiar. We ran across the floor. I'm Smeagol, the seagull. I'm back with my seagull. Her name is Shegal. She's a seagull like me. There's an egg in our nest and we'll soon be a family of three. There used to be one gull and now there are three gulls. Smeagol, Shegal, and baby gull, Meagol. Breakfast is served. Practice flight 2.0. Meagol's first steps. I am born. Smeagol teaching me gull to speak seagull. And a camera picture of a feather. There are family birds. And we love them. Too much for word. The end. What the critics are saying about Smeagol the Seagull. Who, who, who? Smeagol the Seagull, that's who. This book is a hoot. After a hard day of who, of ba, ba, bobbing along, this robin loves to dig into a good book. And Smeagol the Seagull is a good book. During a long flight, like when I migrate in the spring and fall, there's nothing better than a really good book to help pass the time. That's why I always have a copy of Smeagol the Seagull tucked under my wing. Smeagol the Seagull is a great read, and those illustrations, wow, even from a mile up, they're terrific. <laughs>